Hello everyone, today let's learn how to solve this important question from surface area and volume. So this topic is a request from some of our Enjoy Math viewers. So the question is, a building is in the form of a cylinder surmounted by a hemispherical vaulted dome and contains uh, so much meter cube of air. If the internal diameter of the dome is equal to its total height above the floor, find the height of the building. So friends, the very first step while solving these questions is to read the question at least two to three times so that you understand what exactly is the scenario. So once you read the question properly, the next step is always draw a rough figure, write what is the given data and what you have to find. Okay, so friends, I have drawn a rough figure. So here is the cylinder and I'm also a 3D model so that we better understand this uh, question. So friends, this is a cylinder and this is surmounted by a hemispherical vaulted dome. So here is a cylinder and on top of that, surmounted means placed on top. There is a dome and it contains so much meter cube of air. So this is one of the given data. So let's write it down. So it's given that volume of this building is 4119 by 21 meter cube of air. Okay, friends. Now, the next sentence says, if the internal diameter of the dome. So, what do we mean by internal diameter? This one. So, if the internal diameter of the dome is equal to its total height above the floor. So, let's take D as the internal diameter of the dome. Now, that is equal to its its means the domes, the domes total height above the floor. So here is the dome. So its height above the floor means they are talking about this height friends. See that should be equal to the internal diameter. So let me call that total height to be capital H. So they are saying that D is equal to capital H. I hope it's clear till here. Now because we have taken D as the diameter, let us take R as the internal radius of the dome. Can we say that h is equal to 2 times r definitely because diameter is twice the radius now what are they asking for find the height of the building so what are they asking for this entire height that means they are asking for capital h so what do we have to find yes we have to find capital h so if somehow we find out what is r we can easily find out capital h so let's just label this i can call it as r now this is also r here now cylinder also needs height so let's write h as the height of the cylinder okay so where shall i mark the height yes this will be my H. So friends, the next step is start with the given data and then try to find out what they have asked. So the given data is that they have given the volume of the building. So let's start with that. So 4119 by 21 is equal to the volume of the entire building, right? Now what is the volume of the building? It's actually the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of the hemisphere, both of them. And also friends, did you notice that both of them will always have the same radius because it's surmounted, kept on top. So let me also write here, R is the radius of the dome and of the cylinder, okay? So volume of the building is the volume of the cylinder plus the volume of the hemisphere. Okay, I hope this is clear. Now, what is the volume of the cylinder? I'm sure you remember it. It's pi r square h. That's right. And what is volume of the hemisphere? Yes, 2 by 3 pi r cube. Now, 41, 19 by 21, definitely we have to convert it to improper. So, when you do that, friends, we'll get it as 880 by 21. You can just check it out. Now, here is an equation and we have two unknowns. We don't know what is r and we don't know what is h. Well, somehow we have to get rid of one of the variables. So friends, let's see what is this H. H or the height of the cylinder is over here and this is my capital H. So can I say that small h is nothing but capital H minus R? Just have a look. If I take H and just take away the small r, I will get my small h, right? But what is H? Yes, it is nothing but 2R. So I can say 2R minus R, which means the height of the cylinder is equal to its own radius. That's great. So now I can substitute. Now, because I want to find out the value of radius, I will keep R as it is. Instead of H, I will put R. I hope you got that. So here it will be as it is. So now 
we have only one variable so now it will be much easier so let's see what we can take out common so definitely pi is common and there is an r cube in both the terms so let me take r cube common so what is remaining here friends if i take pi r cube common from pi r cube what is inside yes one and here if i take out pi r cube i'll get 2 by 3 i hope you got this so now let me just uh, arrange it it will be 880 by 21 equals to pi r cube and in bracket friends we have to take the LCM so it will be 3 plus 2 which is 5 by 3. Now what we have to do is substitute the value of pi as 22 by 7. I don't think any other simplification is possible. So we need to find the value of r. So let us keep r in one side and bring all the other numbers to the other side. So what will we get? So let me write this it this way. Now friends, instead of multiplying everything directly, always try to see if you can cancel out common terms. For example, I can see that this goes in 22 stable uh, directly. And yes, this is 7, 3s are 21. Did you see that? Yes, that's great. See, 3 and 3 again got cancelled. So now I have R cube equal to 40 by 5. Again, this will get cancelled. So R cube is 8. So cube of which number gives you 8? Yes, 2. So radius will be nothing but 2 and the unit is meters. So radius is 2 meters. But what do we actually want? We want capital H. So H will be, what is it? 2r did you see that so h is 2 into 2 which is 4 meters so the height of this entire building is going to be 4 meters so friends i hope you understood how to solve this question if you found the video useful do like and share consider subscribing to enjoy math and please do leave your questions your doubts or any other feedback in the comment section below so till we meet again take care